Hi everyone, welcome to your practice. I'm so glad you're practicing with me and others at the same time who are using this video in this great community. Today we're doing a side body stretching practice for the gallbladder meridian, often associated with the emotion of anger. So hopefully this practice can help you let go of and process anger maybe in a symbolic way. And in any case, it feels really good for keeping your body, your joints mobile, supple, and also great for digestion in general, digestion of emotions and the actual digestion of your body. So let's start in hero pose, sitting on your heels. So the hips are very equal. We won't stay for very long. Rest your hands on tops of the thighs. Close your eyes for a moment and align your nose over your navel. And then start to bring your right fingertips over to the right. Let your right side waist crunch and then stretch your left arm up alongside the ear and reach the left fingertips away. You may be able to inch your right hand a little more away from the foot and reach long, long, long. And turn, look up toward the ceiling. Inhale, exhale back to center. Take your left fingertips, palm over. Stretch your right arm up and over. Maybe the left fingertips can inch away from your hip a little more. Drop your right sitting bone down. Good. Inhale. Exhale, let the right arm drape down. And then from there, let's sit over onto the base of the seat and swing the legs around. Extend the legs out straight. Flex your feet, reach your arms up. Inhale, when you exhale, take your right fingertips over to the right. Stretch your left arm up and over. Plant your right palm, look at your right palm. Reach your left fingertips away from the hip. Inhale, exhale, come on back to center. Take your left fingertips over to the left. Right arm stretches up and over. Feel that right side seam open. Let the right sitting bone drop. And let's inhale and exhale. Come on back to center. Bring your heels in. Cross your ankles on top. Roll over your knees. Come into a tabletop position where we're going to walk the knees back a little bit and then start to drop your right hip. Look over your left shoulder and then lift your belly and drop your hip to the left. Look over the right shoulder. Lift your belly. Do that a few times side to side, really lifting the belly up and feeling each side seam open as you move from side to side. Good. When you come back to center, send your hips toward the heels, chin toward chest, and lift your belly. Slide your right foot forward right between your hands. Take your right fingertips. Walk them all the way on the outside edge of your right thigh. Take your left arm on the outside edge of that right thigh. Look down at your open left palm. Look around toward the back of your mat. Feel that length from that left pinky all the way up through the shoulder blade. Inhale. Exhale, walking back to center. Take your right hand on the inside of the right heel. And then reach that left arm away. Reach the left arm away from the top of your left foot. Keep dropping your right sitting bone down. Reach the right fingertip right away and then release your left hand down. Hands are framing that front foot. Slide your right leg back, big toes touch. Coming into child's pose. And then lift your belly, slide that left foot forward right between the hands. Walk your hands over to the right. Take your right arm on the outside edge of that right thigh. Turn the palm away. From your face. Feel that traction of the humerus bone into that left thigh and peek around toward the back of your mat. Good. Feel that opening from that right baby toe all the way up that gallbladder line, all the way up through the side of your right rib cage to the shoulder. And inhale, exhale, come around back to center. Then take that left arm on the inside of the heel and just reach your right arm away from the toes, reach it away. Reach the right fingertips right away from the toes. You can look to the right. Drop your left sitting bone. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release the hands to frame that front foot and slide that left leg back, coming into your child's pose. From child's pose, tuck your toes underneath. Send the hips up into a downward dog and pedal out your feet. Spread the fingers wide. Stretch your lower back up. And then lift your heels high, come on to tiptoes, tiptoe forward right between your thumbs. 
Then when you get there, fold forward, let your head hang. Walk your hands over to the right, turn your right toes out, and walk your hands as far back as you can, keeping fingers tented, hanging your head, peeking at your right hip. And feel that opening from that left pinky deep into the left hip crease. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Maybe you want to let go of anything that's making you angry. Then walk the hands back to center, re-parallel the feet. Walk the hands over to the left. Turn your left toes out a little bit so you can feel that left thigh bone plug into the hip a little more. Walk your hands over to the left as far as you can. Let your head hang, peek at that left hip, and then keep tractioning that right sitting bone around toward the left sitting bone to really maximize the opening of the right side seam. And inhale and exhale. Come on back to center. Parallel your feet. Bend your knees, press through your feet, and slowly come on up. Reach your arms overhead, interlace the fingers, press the palms up and start to sway side to side, opening up through that side waist, feeling the outside edges of the feet melt into the ground. And then inhale, press the palms up, look up. Exhale, release the arms down alongside the body. Take your hands to your hips. Take a big step back with your left foot, finding warrior two position. Drop your right thigh bone down. Take your right forearm to the top of the thigh bone. Let the right hip, let the left hip roll forward. Keep pressing through that left foot. Nice open right palm. Reach the left arm up alongside the ear. Reach, reach, reach. Keep containing the ribs in toward the midline. And look down at your right foot and spread your right toes. Then look down at your right foot. Release your hands to frame that right foot. Straighten your right leg all the way. Turn your left toes forward a little more. Then take this variation of triangle where you're wrapping that right sitting bone back. And then you reach the left fingertips away from that left hip, opening that left side seam. And you may be able to bring your right hand down to the floor and then fold over, deepening the opening of the left side seam. Inhale, exhale, take your left hand back behind your head, start to open your elbow toward the ceiling, come up to right tented fingers, bend your right knee and press through both feet as you come up into reverse warrior, release your left hand to your left thigh, reach your right arm up and over, inhale, straighten the right leg, exhale, slowly cartwheel the arms forward just enough to press the palms together, look between the palms, Shift into your right foot and step forward toward the top of your mat. Interlace the awkward finger on top. Press the palms up. Sway side to side. Good. And then inhale, look up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Take your hands to your hips. Take a big step back with your right foot. Coming into warrior two. Legs. Good. Press the feet down. Press the feet apart. And then take your left forearm on top of the thigh bone, palm facing up. Both sets of toes are spread. Reach your right arm away from the ear. <laughs> Reach your right fingertips away from the outside edge of your right foot. Extended side angle. And then as you look down, release your hands to frame that front foot. Straighten your left leg all the way, tra tractioning that left sitting bone straight back. And coming into this variation of Triangle pose, where there's more of a lateral side bend through the right side rib. Reach your right arm forward away from the right hip, and then let the torso melt into a little bit of a curve. So we're really opening through that right side seam, and the right fingertips drape down toward your left foot. We try to keep that right arm in alignment with the ear. Good. Then take that right hand back behind your head. Start to open your right elbow up toward the sky. Come up to left tented fingers. Bend the left knee. Use your right hand to help lift the head back up into alignment with the tail. Then coming right into reverse warrior. Right hand to right thigh. Left arm reaches up and over. Good. Inhale that whole left side. Exhale. Gently cartwheel. Release the hands to frame your front foot. Swing the back heel over the toes and then step right back into downward facing dog.
Wag your tail side to side. Good. And then come into a tabletop. From tabletop, let's stand up on the knees. So we're standing up on the knees here, and we're finding a side bending variation of camel. Knees are under the hips. Take your right fingertips down toward the outside edge of the heel and sweep your left arm up and over and look down at your right knee. That's going to be an inhale, little back bend. Exhale, come back to center and switch. Left fingertips down, right arm up and over. Look down at your left foot, inhale. Exhale, come back and switch. Inhale, left arm up. Look toward your right foot. Exhale, switch. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. We always end with that left side crunching. This is the flow of digestion. And then exhale. Shake your hands off. Draw the belly in. Swing your ankles underneath. And extend your legs out straight. Reach your arms forward. Thumbs up. Start to make your way down slowly. Coming all the way down and coming onto your back. When you find your way onto your back, we're taking the arms up alongside the ears, palms facing up, and we're gonna inch the whole torso over to the right. So you kind of pick up your ribs and inch them to the right, and also your feet, your right heel moving to the right, and cross your left ankle on top of the right. And then rest your left, the left back of your hand in the right palm, lightly interlacing those right fingers on the outside edge of the hand. Let your face fall to the right and breathe there in that kind of banana type of shape. Letting the breath open the side seam. Really breathing deep down into any area that feels tight. And finding, trying to cultivate a sense of peace with what is. A sense of letting go of anything making you angry or frustrated. Just for the time being, let it go with every exhale. Jaw is soft, eyes are soft. Pausing there, and then we're going to release, come on back to center. Keep the arms overhead, then do the whole thing on the left, so you kind of inch to the left. Take your left heel out, cross your right ankle over on top. Take the back of that right hand, rest it in the left hand so the fingers of the left hand cup around the right and the little drag of the pinky away from the shoulder joint and let your head fall wherever it wants to fall and breathe along that right side seam. Breathe along that right side waist. Inhaling. Peace, exhaling, letting go of anger, of tension. Good. And then uncross, come back to center, let the arms drift down alongside the body. Step both feet on the floor. Draw your knees in, take a full happy baby, elbows on insides of knees, hands on the ankles or the outside edges of the feet. Soles of feet face the sky, evening out hips, rock a little bit. And then float the feet up toward the ceiling, rest your arms on the ground, shake your feet, shake your feet, and then stack, tap your feet, stamp your feet, temper tantrum, five, four, three, two, one, let it out. <sighs> Inhale, peace. Exhale, let out your anger. <sighs> Doesn't have to be perfect. Find Shavasana, the final meditation, where you unwind and let go and relax as much as you can. Imagining a lot of light and space along the side seams from the outside center of the foot right along the outside of your legs. Imagining along the seam of the pants. The energy is opening up into the hips and lower back, right up through the sides of the ribs into your underarms, and even on the sides of the neck. And we'll start to roll the head from side to side. 
thanking your body, thanking yourself for showing up to practice and seeing it through. And when your nose comes back in alignment with the navel, reach the arms overhead. Inhale and exhale. Hug your knees in toward your chest. Give a squeeze. Take your time to roll to the left hand side, the side of processing, digesting. Inhale, exhale, let it out. And slowly pressing up. And we're meeting together again in finding an upright cross leg seat, any comfortable seat that works for you to sit really tall. Rock side to side, letting the sitting bones drop. And when you bring your crown of head right over the tail. Inhale, reach the arms away. Exhale, wrap around for a hug. Try to do this without scuffing my mic. Reach around for the outer ribs. Curl in. Press your hands into those outer ribs. And then release. Bring your hands to heart center. Wishing you joy, peace, health, strength, courage, and trust on the journey. May you have peace. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you feel a little better. Thanks for practicing. Please like, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again in class. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Take care.